So, Zach, I'll start off the same way. What are your first early memories of the Barbarians? Yeah, a um, bit similar to Aki. Like, the Barbarians just is a definition of rugby for me. Like, every time I hear the Barbarians' name, it's it's how rugby should be played. And I remember watching as a kid and always looking up to that, that black and white jersey and wanting to put it on. And obviously, I got the opportunity to do that. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been really special to have that memory, uh, definitely. Looking up, did you ever think it would be possible or did you ever dream about it or just think you would never like make that i mean yeah you always dream about it but is it going to become reality you never know um and i remember getting the call um from razor so scott robinson and he said do you want to come and have a crack and uh, i know gara and i was like I, I pretty much bit the hand off for it and i remember running to philippe santandre who's the coach at Montpellier at the time begging him to let me play and Luckily, he's coached the Barbars and played for the Barbars and he understands what it means to wear that jersey and he, he pretty much kicked me out the door to have that opportunity. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like I said, it's such a special memory to have. And can you tell a little bit about your experience being in the Barbars camp and meeting some of those some of those legendary names? Yeah, I mean, obviously the week um, was said on tour, say it stays on tour, as they say, but um, yeah, it was a, it was a non-typical rugby week. No rugby just socialising and drinking a lot and eating a lot. and um, But like I said, that's rugby. That that just shows that you don't have to go and flog players. You don't have to go do this hard work all the time because rugby players are rugby players. They know how to play rugby. And a lot of the time I find it's important to have a cultural uh, understanding of each other rather than just getting drilled all the time. So, yeah. And like I said, we had a great week and we went on to, to beat the All Blacks 15 at, at, at Tottenham. And... Yeah, it was, like I said, a real special occasion. Yeah, is it? I guess this can be hard for a professional to you think of rugby as a job and to go away from those sort of enjoyment and why you play rugby. So to have something like the Barbarians just reminds everyone why everyone plays, doesn't it? No, exactly. You watch the Barbars play and you see, you see what they're about. You see that there's no pressure on them. They're all playing with smiles on their faces, enjoying what they're doing. And I think at a moment where rugby at the moment in England's a little bit fragile, with obviously the clubs going down, I think it's been a real great opportunity for the players, for example, that haven't got clubs yet to, to play for them and to give them an opportunity to be in the shop window. And like that's rugby. That's what rugby is. We're a tight-knit group. We give everyone equal opportunities. And um, it's been real good to see the Barbas filling a lot of fixtures, and especially last year. And... I can't wait to welcome them here at King's Home. Yeah, you mentioned the Barbars obviously playing a lot more fixtures recently, Go almost going back to the good old days when they used to do the club tours, and that's great for the game, isn't it? Oh, massively. Like, people, the fans want to see it, the players want to play against them, and it's like it's a memory that I can now say I've played against the Barbars, and um, it's what people want to see, it's what people pay to see, people pay to see big names playing, and, and that's what the Barbars is, and pay to see a bit of fun on the pitch, and some different moves or whatever and yeah it's what rugby's about and obviously you haven't had the pleasure to run out here at King's Home yet but how much are you looking forward to hopefully running out at King's Home against the Barbarians no I mean obviously like I said I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet I was here last weekend and even for 8,000 people it was still really loud so I'm sure we'll get some large numbers on the day and if I get the opportunity to pull a jersey on then it'd be yeah it'd be really special for my debut and um, yeah we'll see what happens